YouTube, it's Dalton, and today we're gonna talk about how to sew wallets, like this one. This one's actually woven, so I had to weave all these strips together before I made this one. Like this one, and I am, oh, I just dropped it. I am sewing them together, like that. So the black, that's the stitch. I was gonna write someone's name right here, that's why I put that, but it's kinda getting loose, but no big deal. So, and then the one I'm gonna be showing you how to make today is actually gonna be this one right here. So, it's got zigzag papers in it. Okay. And it's kind of a Rasta wallet. You can still put your cards and stuff in it. And I did mess up a little bit, but that's okay. I still think it's pretty sweet. And yeah, hopefully you guys will make a sweet one of these. Let's get right into it. Grab your scissors, grab your rotary cutters, grab your zigzags, grab your construction paper, grab a card, rip that construction paper out the colors you want, fold it in half. All right, fold that sucker in half. All right. So we gotta fold it in half, now fold it into quarters. So fold the ends towards the middle. Just like that. Oh my goodness, I've done it. I've done it, I'm halfway there. Fold it in half now. So you get that wallet shape. All right, now when you open it, it should be folded into uh, eights. It should be eight little chunks. Now uh, cut a centimeter, see, one centimeter one centimeter and you should be doing it on each opening I don't know why I didn't do it on each opening but uh, yeah a centimeter in figure out where you want the papers I want them right there I'm gonna draw two lines just to kinda remind myself Ooh, zoom it in now you wanna be pretty careful here and you kinda just wanna disassemble the zigzag pack so, take it apart, like so. You gotta be careful, don't rip it apart. Just take it apart nicely. Okay. I don't know why I'm messing around with this so much. I'm trying to figure out how to do it without ruining the papers, I think. There we go. There you go, open that up. Pull it out. Sweet. So now you've taken the papers out of their packaging. Put the paper pack onto your uh, wallet and just outline where you want it. Outline where you're gonna cut the, the uh, holes. Then cut it out. Cut your holes out, your little strips for the pack. So basically you're gonna change the, the front of the zigzag papers instead of pulling it out of the zigzag pack you're going to be pulling it out of the wallet so then put the papers in as if it as if you're just putting that uh, piece that you can see there on the left just insert them into the wallet like so you can use the zigzag pack on the back so i'm just putting it on the back like that and if I can get it, what I'm gonna do is just, I'm just gonna tape it down. I'm gonna use little bits of tape and just tape it into place so that the papers are there. So you can see what's happening. Zigzag's coming through. Still got the slits on the side, the one centimeter slits. All right, now, um, sewing time. Get some scrap piece of paper and test your tension. It's really important to test your tension because I don't think mine was good here really at all. And remember to always start and end with a back stitch. Here's a closer look at the seams. And I go onto my iPad just to look up the tensions and we're having problem A. So if you want to pause the video, problem A. Top tension is too tight, even though it's at zero. So basically because the top thread 
and the bottom thread. Um, it looks a little bit loose in these. These stitches are loose, whereas on this side, it's tight and you can see the bottom bobbin thread coming through. So what that means is that the top tension is too tight. So I've turned the top tension all the way down to zero and I'm still getting that effect. So when you've done that, you wanna then go to your bobbin. And whenever you mess with your bobbin, you wanna look at where the screw in the top is at, and like, is it here or is it he like, you know, how much is it turned kinda? Like, is it 12 o'clock, is it at three o'clock, you know, is it at, what angle is it at? And you just wanna make a note of that. And so what you wanna do is you wanna tighten it. So the bottom needs to have more tension to pull the thread more to the bottom. So you use your fingernail, and I just did it up a, half, a quarter, quarter turn. Direction, I did more like an eighth of a turn. And that would have been clockwise as to tighten it. Okay, so you can hardly see it, but there, it's looking more like a stitch there as compared to the this over here where it's like for these over here on each stitch you can kind of see like each stitch you can see how the bottom thread's coming in there like that but then this one on this side is better so once I adjust the bottom bobbin it um, is good so I'm just gonna remember that so I can put it back for when I want to sew other things later so now <clears throat> I've got my tension so I'm ready to go for the next step so the next step is sewing this down. And whenever I'm sewing with paper, I like to start and do my back stitch with uh, the hand knob. So I just twist the knob just so that I can have full control over it. And when you're sewing down the papers, you wanna kinda get down at eye level with the machine, with the needle. Not like I'm doing now, but kind of how I was before. And just make sure that you're not sewing over top of the papers. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Now it's time to add the card uh, holder pocket thing. So take the wallet and you want to put half of the wallet down. I'm putting it onto the yellow. And half of the wallet, I'm just cutting out uh, the same shape. So like a square there. Uh, okay, perfect, I've got it. I wanna make it a little bit smaller than the wallet, all right, so that it can go on there. And then I'm just gonna take the yellow, put that onto the red, cut out the same piece, pretty straightforward. But then I'm gonna make the red a lot smaller so that, there you go, it looks like that. And then I just wanna put that on the wallet and sew it down. Oh, I dropped the thing, I dropped it. Um, and when I'm sewing it, I want to sew the, the part that's closest to the middle, or I guess the part that's closest to where the coins would touch <laughs> if they're touching that middle fold of the wallet. Okay, so I want to start there. See how I'm starting long ways, and then I'm turning it up the middle, and then I'm going to take it out, and I'm going to finish by doing the end. So it's important to finish by doing the end and not uh, what you see there. So you want to do the end because what you want to do is now you want to take that one centimeter fold that you had earlier and you want to sort of tuck it in. You want to tuck them in to the sides there. You see that? See how I tucked it in? So you're going to take it, tuck it in. There, make sure your card isn't gonna um, affect your stitching. So put your card in the wallet and then sew that edge down. Remember, you need to tuck the one centimeter folds on the edges in. So tuck the, tuck the edge in. You'll figure it out, it makes sense once you see the wallet.
And now you want to go ahead and sew down the uh, both edges, so the left edge and the right edge. And after you're done sewing those edges down, you'll be done making your wallet. And the reason you want to sew down the edges last is because that's kind of your end sort of seam. Everything we were doing before with the papers, we were still folding, we are still making the wallet. Um, so now when you open up the wallet, you're not going to see the the stitches that you did to keep the papers in there or whatever but this edge stitch you will see but you'll see it on both sides which is what you want so just make sure that you're doing the edge edges after you folded the, the edges in after you've tucked them in then sew them down all right don't sew it down before that sew them down last and you'll be golden you'll be all good then you're making wallets all day long all your friends will be wanting one and they'll be like oh my gosh how long did it take you to make that and you'll be like oh probably you know an hour and they'll be like oh sweet how much and then you'll be like mm, 20 bucks and they'll be like yeah right it's made out of paper <laughs> and then you could just be like well okay all right all right so look at your wallet it's all done super slim mine's kind of bendy it's not perfect but whatever i did it fairly quickly the first one i did was a lot better and still holds your cards everything and money of course our canadian money looks a little funny because it's different colors but anyways that's all you need to know on how to make a wallet thanks for tuning in guys until next time peace out